Hey guys, welcome back to Lux Curves. Today I'm gonna to share with you the difference between corsets, between spanks, and between waist trainers or waist cinchers, if you wanna call them that. So, um, corsets, first of all, I'm wearing a corset right now. Um, it hasn't been laced up all the way, but you can see that the corsets help bring a very hourglass illusion to your body instantaneously because your body is shifting into this um, basically mold, which is the corset. The biggest difference is that the corsets do have lacing at the back, so you do have to lace them up, which can take a little bit of time, but um, you can make it as tight as you want or as tight as your body will allow you to go, which I do think can contribute to a lot of the times when you look online and you see people who go overboard with body shape it's because they can when they have these laces because the corsets really can shift things in your body they're very rigid and they can they can shift your ribs if you wear them long enough so you can see here the corset it gives that beautiful hourglass figure um, the only thing is though it is composed with strong steel bones so unlike a waist trainer they're not flexible so if I want to bend forward like I, I just can't into the side this is as far as the side goes and so if you're someone who is like a preschool teacher or an uber driver or you work in an office this might not be the most comfortable option for you it just depends on your lifestyle so I'm just gonna take this off now the next one I'm gonna show you is this waist trainer this is the Lux Curves Rose traditional waist trainer in short torso you can see here that a waist trainer is definitely much more flexible it does have mobility so when you're bending it bends with you there is a level of comfort that I receive when I'm wearing the waist trainer that I just don't get with the corset especially when I'm sitting down because there's some something called a corset penis that tends to dig into my pelvis versus with this one is a lot more soft. So a waist trainer isn't quite as rigid as the corset. Again, the flexi steel bones instead of the steel bones. But that does not mean that the results are lessened. I still think you get great results with a waist trainer. And it's just also a big factor is that because you can wear it with your lifestyle, you can move around with it, you can do more with it. You just spend more hours in your waist trainer than a lot of people will spend on their corset, which can also help um, seeing those results. So I have my waist trainer on. As you can see, it gives a similar hourglass illusion than the corset. The thing is that with this one, you have three rows of hooks, which are one inch apart. And you can only see two here because I have it on the second row. So that means that if you start it on the first row, you lose one inch, you get to the second row, you lose one inch, you get to the third row. And then once you're at the third row, the waist trainer starts to feel loose as you lose more inches on your waistline. And then you size down to a new size. So you would get more than one waist trainer if you plan on really sizing down and shrinking your waist. Versus with a corset, I mean, it's a little bit of the same thing, but I think it might last you a little bit longer. But yeah, that's just how it works. And so you can see here, again, it does move with me. I'm able to bend and it does give me that compression. It also looks good under clothes. So when I wear a shirt under or a dress on top, it does give me that hourglass figure, which looks really nice. It shows my waist looking really snatched and yeah. That's it. And the last one I'm gonna share with you are Spanx. This isn't really the Spanx brand, but the idea of Spanx are basically like this material, which is really stretchy. You can see here, this is a full body Spanx. Some people call them Fajas, but this isn't exactly a Faja because um, it doesn't have that type of compression. So Spanx, the idea is really just to look good under clothes. So it's not really with the idea of shaping your body long term. So it's more of an immediate result where if you want to wear a really tight dress and you want to look a little bit more snatched, you don't want your rolls to be showing, then you would get some Spanx, wear it under the dress, and then you don't have to see that stuff. Versus with the waist trainer and the corset, you wear them on a regular basis with the long-term benefits in mind, knowing that your body will shape with time, the, the fat will displace and disperse, and you'll get that hourglass figure much more permanently than anything that you would get with a Sphinx. So Sphinx are great for like special events, a lot of um, like the Kardashians, they wear Spanx for their legs. So if they wear like any kind of jeans or anything and they want to squish in their thighs, Spanx are a great idea because waist trainers and corsets, they only cover your torso versus you can get these for your legs. You can even get them for your arms. 
and you can get them for your belly as well. So those are the main benefits I believe. I don't think I left too much out. If you do have any questions, please do comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on waist trainers, corsets, and Spanx. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you've already subscribed, there's this little gray bell symbol. If you hit that, then you're gonna get notified when I release new videos. And if you wanna keep watching, I've handpicked these two videos for you to watch right here.